Uh, do you want to talk about it or not really? Uh And welcome back to Global. I'm John Sopel. Now, this will get some of you shouting at the TV or reaching for your calculators. Hopefully both. Uh, multiplication. What's 7 times 8 or 12 times 12? Uh, we have our times tables drummed into us at school. And here in England, children will soon learn more of them at an earlier age as part of a new curriculum that's being unveiled. But with calculators and internet on our phones and all the rest of it, can we actually afford to be a little foggier on our times tables, facts... And dates. Well, here to discuss with me is Dr. Sarah Santos, a mathematician who runs Maths Busking, a company that uses performers and entertainment to teach maths and has been on this programme before and we're delighted to have you uh, back with us. Now, the production team have set a task. I've been given a calculator, Sarah has got her brain and apparently a sum is going to appear on the screen behind us and we're going to see who gets to it first. Oh, that's ridiculous. I'm going to win oh. by... Where are the brackets? Uh, <laughs> um. uh, hang on. Oh, I've... oh no. I've co no, I've got. <laughs> I have an estimate. I have an estimate. Go, go for your. I, well, I've just put it all. I've put, <laughs> inputted it incorrectly. Well, come, on, come on. Oh, I. Do, Oh, damn, I've just done it all wrong on my calculator. Well, Go on. What's your estimate? Well, I had an estimate of around 600 and something at some point, but we're not sure if the bracket is before the division or Which after the bracket? division. Are we dividing the whole result by 7 or just 237 by 7? That's quite an important thing in maths. And we need to get that maths I right. I think our producers <laughs> need better math skills. Right, OK, okay are we going to get... What's, oh, it equals 12. Oh, OK. Well, I mean, what do you think about... I think we've both failed there. I think I've failed completely. I've failed even to use a blooming calculator. How humiliating. That's what my production team wanted. That's all they were interested in, was how can we humiliate Sopel today? Right. And right. they've achieved their goals. Um, <laughs> seriously, what do, you, what do you think about it, of introducing fractions and introducing multiplication much earlier so that kids do learn these things? I think what's important is to look at the research in education and we, don't, we can't just pick and choose which bits of evidence we're going to use to inform the curriculum but it's very important that we know what is good for the children because children don't all develop in the same way, don't all have the same learning style and this is my concern with the new curriculum. In fact, the government after government changes the curriculum without looking at the, the research, without looking at the evidence. And uh, it seems to be a political tool every year, and, uh, and, and this is not right. We're not serving British children their best. If we look at countries like uh, Finland, the, the curriculum doesn't change with the government. It's kept, it's, it hasn't changed for decades, and, um, and the teaching profession is in fact highly respected. Prim primary school teacher in Finland is the, higher, the most respected profession in the country, yeah. which is a big contrast with what happens in the UK. So I think, as Dr. Ben Goldacre has published uh, a paper for the Department of Education on using um, evidence to back um, the teaching policy and having teachers being part of that research, being the people that can implement research, that you, can inform, that's What do you think about learning? Important. I mean, you know, I, actually, when, those time, when I read out those times, yeah. I, you know, seven times eight, 12 times 12, those, that is so ingrained in me that I haven't, I haven't performed those mental tasks yes. since I was a child, but I bet you I could do it. I, I still reckon I know my times tables. Yes, well, the times tables are being part of the curriculum. It's not new, so the wording of this, um, th this, this new policy, it's, it's, it kind of implies that the previous curriculum didn't enforce that. Using words like tough uh, kind of implies that the previous curriculum wasn't tough, that was soft, or that had, I don't know exactly what meaning they want to imply. And that seems to be very unfair to yeah. the teachers that work really hard and are not given the right conditions I... to progress and implement research based evidence. Okay, I tweeted a little earlier yes. that you were going to perform magic <laughs> for us on Global Today. Mathematical and I want to magic. Mathematical magic. So I want to know what magic you're going to perform. Right, so one, uh, one trick I tend to do with maths busking is to ask 
um, a volunteer to write a three-digit number in their calculator or a phone with a calculator. Could it be, could it, hang on, I'm going to do it on this calculator and see if I can get it right So now. a three-digit number like one, two, three. So it could be any, any five-digit number? No, any no, no. three-digit, sorry. Three-digit number. Okay. Okay. Like one, two, three, but keep it secret. Okay? okay. And then that's your magic number. Right. And then I'm going to ask you to repeat that number so you create a six-digit number. So if your number was one, two, three, you say you write it again and you get a six-digit number with Fine. two blocks. Okay. Right. Right. So what I'm going to ask you to do is to divide, not in your head, with the, using your calculator, divide by the number 13, the main... Which is the prime number, isn't it? It is. I was going to say that a lot of people think it's unlucky, but I, I, okay, I, you I'm with you. Lucky. It's a prime number. And when you divide, and like many divisions, you get a whole number, no yeah. remainder. And so I'm going to ask you now to divide by the next prime number down, which is 11. And you should get, as far as I'm controlling your calculator perhaps, a whole number again. Yeah, you do. And now we do the final division by the next prime number, which is not 9, because 9 is 3 squared. Yeah. It's 7. And if you divide by 7, you now should have your magic number. Is that right? Yeah. The number you started We've, with. Exactly where we started from. Okay. So now, of course, we could so leave it... Any number, any three-digit number, you repeat twice, divide by 13, 11 and 7. Yes. And you will always get... Your magic number. And I think you use a technology in the classroom. It's, it's a great opportunity to highlight patterns that will be very hard to achieve doing calculation by hand, but we still need to have an appreciation of numbers, still need to know our times tables to fully appreciate this, the power of this. For example, in this trick, I would say, let's reverse engineer it. You divide it by 13, 11, and 7. Let's do it backwards. Let's multiply the numbers. And if you multiply them, which can use your calculator, you get to a very fantastic number, which is the number 1001. And that is what forces us to repeat the number. Sorry, this genius. Thank you very much. We're out of time. Do that at home. It's really brilliant. Oh, just try it. You'll get the same number. Thank you very much. Global will be back shortly.